Iran's acquisition and deployment of the S-300 PMU-2 favorite air defense missile system mark a significant milestone in the country's defense capabilities. Originally ordered in 2007, Iran's procurement was delayed due to a self-imposed Russian ban, which was later lifted following the Iran nuclear deal in 2015. By 2016, Russia had completed the delivery of four S-300 PMU-2 batteries, significantly enhancing Iran's air defense network. The system, known for its ability to counter both aircraft and ballistic missiles, plays a crucial role in Iran's modern warfare doctrine and its efforts to deter regional threats. The S-300 PMU-2 favorite, designated by NATO as SA-20B Gargoyle-B, is a highly advanced system with an engagement range of 200 kilometers and an altitude coverage of up to 27 kilometers. Utilizing the 48N6E2 missile, it can reach speeds of Mach 6 to 8.5, with specialized speeds exceeding Mach 9 for intercepting ballistic missiles. This system boasts a high probability of successfully engaging hostile aircraft and cruise missiles, with a reported kill ratio of up to 0.98 against Tomahawk-class cruise missiles. Furthermore, it can engage six targets simultaneously while guiding up to 12 missiles, ensuring comprehensive coverage of Iranian airspace. Iranian military strategists have integrated the S-300 PMU-2 into their broader air defense network, pairing it with domestically produced systems such as the Bavar 373. Recent military exercises demonstrated this integration, where the S-300 PMU-2 and Bavar 373 operated in tandem to detect and eliminate high-altitude targets. The Bavar 373, unveiled with an upgraded version in February 2024, features independent radar-equipped launchers, reducing reliance on a central radar. This combination allows Iran to create a multi-layered defense network capable of neutralizing a variety of aerial threats. Despite its capabilities, the S-300 PMU-2 has faced operational challenges. In April and October 2024, Israeli airstrikes reportedly disabled Iran's S-300 systems by breaching their radar networks, causing screen freezes and rendering them ineffective. This highlights the vulnerability of even sophisticated air defense systems to electronic warfare and cyber tactics. As a response, Iran may seek further advancements in cybersecurity and electronic counter-countermeasures to mitigate such threats in the future. Comparing the S-300 PMU-2 to regional competitors, Iran's system stands as a formidable deterrent but faces challenges against more modern systems deployed by its adversaries. Israel's multi-layered air defense, including the Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Aero systems, provides a comprehensive shield against various aerial threats. Similarly, Saudi Arabia's deployment of the American-made MIM-104 Patriot and THAAD missile systems gives it a robust defense against Iranian missile capabilities. While the S-300 PMU-2 remains a powerful system, it lacks the cutting-edge advancements found in the Russian S-400 and the American Patriot PEC-3, both of which provide superior radar capabilities, interception ranges, and electronic warfare resilience. Iran's decision to procure the S-300 PMU-2 rather than more modern systems like the S-400 may have been influenced by geopolitical and financial considerations. The S-400, which boasts extended range, improved radar, and greater efficiency in countering stealth aircraft, has been acquired by countries like China, Turkey, and India. However, international sanctions and economic constraints may have limited Iran's ability to negotiate such an acquisition. Despite this, Iran has sought to compensate for the limitations of the S-300 PMU-2 by focusing on indigenous air defense developments, most notably the Bavar 373 which it claims offers capabilities similar to the S-400. The S-300 PMU-2's role in Iran's military strategy extends beyond mere defense. It serves as a deterrent against potential aerial incursions by adversaries, particularly the United States and Israel. The system's ability to target high-speed and maneuverable threats makes it a crucial component of Iran's broader air defense doctrine 
which prioritizes denial of air superiority to hostile forces. Iran's military planners have continuously emphasized the importance of integrated air defense, combining radar coverage, surface-to-air missiles, and electronic warfare to create a comprehensive defensive shield. Additionally, Iran has strategically positioned its S-300 PMU-2 batteries to protect critical infrastructure, including nuclear facilities, military bases, and government installations. The operational deployment of these systems near key sites, such as the Natanz and Fordo nuclear facilities, suggests that Iran considers them vital assets in countering potential preemptive strikes. Given the history of cyber and kinetic attacks on Iranian nuclear sites, the integration of the S-300 PMU-2 with indigenous defenses reflects Tehran's commitment to safeguarding its strategic interests. Iran's advancements in air defense technology are also aimed at reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. The domestic production of the Bavar 373, along with continued modifications to existing Russian systems, highlights Iran's determination to achieve self-sufficiency in defense manufacturing. This drive has extended to the development of radar technologies, mobile air defense platforms, and electronic warfare capabilities, which collectively enhance the effectiveness of the S-300 PMU-2 and other air defense assets. However, while the S-300 PMU-2 represents a significant upgrade to Iran's air defense, it is not invulnerable. Modern warfare increasingly relies on electronic warfare, cyber tactics, and stealth capabilities, areas where Israel and the United States maintain substantial superiority. The reported Israeli airstrikes that disabled Iran's S-300 batteries in 2024 indicate that cyber vulnerabilities may exist within the system, potentially exposing Iran to preemptive attacks. Addressing these vulnerabilities will be essential for maintaining the credibility of Iran's air defense network. In the broader Middle Eastern context, the deployment of the S-300 PMU-2 has geopolitical implications. Iran's acquisition of advanced air defense systems challenges the traditional air superiority of regional adversaries and complicates potential military planning against it. The presence of these systems forces adversaries to develop countermeasures, including stealth technology and electronic attack capabilities. This dynamic contributes to the ongoing arms race in the region, where each nation seeks to outmatch the other's defensive and offensive capabilities. Furthermore, Iran's collaboration with allies in the region, including Syria and Hezbollah, raises concerns about the possible transfer of air defense technology. Reports have suggested that Iran has provided technical expertise to enhance Syria's air defense network, particularly in countering Israeli airstrikes. If Iran were to share elements of the S-300 PMU-2's technology with its allies, it could shift the regional balance of power and increase the challenges faced by adversaries in executing aerial operations. Looking forward, Iran's air defense strategy will likely continue to evolve in response to emerging threats and technological advancements. The integration of artificial intelligence, enhanced radar systems, and advanced missile guidance technology could further bolster the effectiveness of Iran's air defense network. Additionally, Iran may seek to develop counter-stealth capabilities to address the growing presence of fifth-generation aircraft such as the F-35 in the region. In conclusion, the S-300 PMU-2 favorite remains a critical component of Iran's air defense strategy, offering substantial capabilities against a range of aerial threats. While it provides Iran with a formidable deterrent, its limitations against electronic warfare and cyber attacks underscore the need for continuous upgrades and complementary indigenous developments. As regional tensions persist, Iran's focus will remain on enhancing its air defense capabilities to ensure the protection of its critical assets and maintain strategic strategic deterrence against potential adversaries. The ongoing evolution of Iran's air defense doctrine, coupled with efforts to achieve self-reliance in military technology, will determine the future effectiveness of systems like the S-300 PMU-2 in securing Iranian airspace.